Welcome to my Fountain Pen Ink Journal interpretation of the Inktober 2022 word prompt, Eagle. Now these are sketches that I did as a passenger as my husband drove our van through the McDonald Ranges in Central Australia. So a lot of my sketches are like this. At the end of the day's journey, I would go through the rough sketches I'd done in the car, which had to be very rough, just line drawings, and I would pick out the one that spoke to me with the greatest strength, the one where I could visualise the scene the most, and I would then, <laughs> between the times that we spent cooking our meal and settling down for the night, we usually went to bed fairly early when we were traveling so that we we're off at dawn and um, i would try to do a little color sketch to pick up more of the light and shade and the colorings from those line drawings and that of course would have had to have been done by it from memory now i'm using the ink straight from the fountain pen and spreading it around with a pure sable brush now i've chosen to use the beautiful pilot inks the they're just lovely water soluble inks perfect for doing quick watercolor wash type sketches only of course we're using ink rather than watercolor the difference is it's a dye base rather than a pigment base now when you put a color down that colour happens everywhere in the painting. It's not just a case of a blue sky. If there's blue in the sky, there will be blue in the landscape too. If you're putting orange or, you know, a warm tone down onto the landscape, that tone will also be in the sky, even if it's in much reduced amounts. Because colour is light, or light is colour. And, and so what we're seeing is the effect of the light on a subject and those light rays will be the same rays that affect every part of the scene so there may be smaller amounts of it but you can't just have a colour isolated in one area it's quite a common amateur thing to sort of do a lovely landscape and then suddenly in the middle of this landscape you have a, a mauve mountain and there's no mauve anywhere else so it's, it's quite easy to pick those other colours up and introduce them. Similarly, the light and shade. You want to have more of an aerial perspective and out of focus as you go back into the distance. And so the mountains in this, it's a Western McDonald Ranges that I'm painting because the subject is eagle and I'm going to do a one of the beautiful wedge tail eagles that soars in the air if you look up when you're in the beautiful Central Australian regions. So you've got more of the soft blue violets into the distance. You've got more of the warm earth colourings as you come forward. And see how I've introduced that blue violets into that sky. I've introduced some of the warm tones into the sky. So nothing is happening in isolation. I also have a tendency to make sure that you don't have a major point of focus dead central in the painting. My horizon isn't at the halfway mark, it's low. It also needed to be low because I wanted to give the experience of this eagle soaring in the sky. Now I need a good range of contrast of light and shade to get the feeling of the light, the bright light that we have in Central Australia we needed to have some intense darks. It doesn't have to be a lot of dark, as long as you've got this full tonal contrast. This is very sketchy, more than painterly. Uh, also, trying to give the feeling of the cragginess of these mountains. They're not gently sloping mountains. They're some very sheer drops, so you want to give that feeling of the cragginess. So the part sketching, part painting technique of working with fountain pens is fabulous for this type of work. Uh, fountain pens are marvellous for travelling. Just watch if you are going to be in a pressurised cabin in a plane. You might want to empty your pens or have them wrapped up in a plastic bag in case they leak. Also, you wouldn't want to leave them in a hot car if you're travelling. That wouldn't be particularly good. <laughs> but um, it's a very convenient way of taking some colours out and... Uh, 
doing a colour sketch, which is basically what this is, if not intended for resale. I'm working on the Tamo River paper, which is a very thin paper, and it's ideal for bringing out the colours of the ink, but uh, it's not laying completely flat, so it's not one that I would reproduce for a print copy, but it would be just wonderful, as I said, because it's lightweight, perfect for travelling. You could carry a you know, 500 sheets of this paper that would take up a very small space of time. Our wedge tail eagle, the main difference in the shaping is that the tail is a wedge shape, whereas the American eagles, they're less of a wedge. So it's uh, one of the largest birds, but not the largest of the eagles. Because I've used that black in the sky for the wedge tail eagle it's very important to bring that same tone down into the foreground remember nothing ever happens in isolation in the painting you couldn't have something that dark up in the sky and not have it in the foreground now i've got a couple of pencil marks up there in the sky i had three goes at drawing that eagle out before i was happy uh, don't ever worry about the mistakes. You just don't see them in most professional artists' work. We hide them. I've left my two original sketches that I didn't use still there in the sky. They can be rubbed out at a later date. I'm loving the colourings because it said I'm familiar with this area and uh, I just loved <laughs> the McDonald Ranges and um, this whole country. <laughs> I, I was very fortunate that my husband and I spent years and years, many years, going around traveling through the outback. Uh, I have had a wonderful life as a professional artist. It uh, did give me a lot of wonderful experiences. I do have a Patreon site where you can watch any of these videos without the advertising and that also gives me something towards my art supplies which is a huge help because I'm a retired pensioner these days. Through my art journals I'm demonstrating and explaining about different art mediums in different YouTube channels and trying to pay it forward. So, all in appreciation of the decades that I was able to earn my living as a professional artist. I mean, that, that was really quite an experience. Any of these ink-friendly papers are ideal for your journaling, to do your sketching in colour and your writing. I treat this as a, like a, a diary, a diary entry page. So that gives you the freedom of loosening up and creating and not feeling you have to create a major work of art every time. It's wonderful to just sit down and do a daily artwork without this pressure on you that everything has to be perfect or superb. Just use it as a way of gaining experience as an artist, as gaining experience for me in writing. Writing is a skill that I'm most sluggish at. Now, when I do want to turn something into a major work of art, I'd change my paper. I wouldn't use my journal paper for it. I'd probably use a very well-sized piece of watercolour paper like my Fabriano artist quality, 100% rag content, acid-free, papers but ink lends itself to journaling perfectly because it's better to keep the ink works within the closed pages of a book and you don't have to worry about the ink fading there's a lot of people a little bit confused about um, the archival quality of ink they think that if they're buying an ink that's acid free that means it's archival quality archival quality has a lot to do with whether or not the substance is going to fade over time and these dye based inks they will fade if you expose them to light so you may have something that's acid free but that's not necessarily archival quality so inks are just perfect for journaling. In these closed notebooks, which is a wonderful way for us to express our creativity, to learn, to experiment, to not feel hindered by the feeling that we're using a very expensive piece of professional paper that we absolutely must succeed at every turn. Well, the eagle isn't afraid of height nor of soaring towards the earth, so don't you be scared of the blank page 
Grab your journal, your fan and pens, and go out and create. If you've got the time to give me a thumbs up or a comment, I'd love that. And don't forget to subscribe.